Sadly, most of us have been impacted by cancer in some way, whether themselves, a loved one, friend, or coworker. Dr. Robert Chen is here to, today to talk about Hodgkin lymphoma, or HL, a type of blood cancer that affects thousands of people in the U.S. each year, most commonly in early adulthood. He's joined by Jeremy Hernandez, who has been living with advanced stage HL. Welcome to the show. Uh, Doc, let's start with you, and, and let's just explain, first of all, what exactly is Hodgkin's lymphoma? So Hodgkin lymphoma is a type of cancer that affects our lymph nodes. We all have lymph nodes in our body. It's, uh, it's our part of our immune system that used to fight against infections. And Hodgkin lymphoma, again, is a type of cancer that uh, arises from the lymphoma, from the lymph nodes in our immune system. All right. What, uh, is there a specific age? Is there a specific you know, type? Uh, who does this affect? What groups or genders are, are most susceptible? So it typically can affect uh, patients in their young age, so typically in their age 20s. Uh, we don't know the exact risk factors or exact cause of Hodgkin lymphoma, but it can affect women and men equally. And we also know it's not genetic, meaning that you cannot get it from your parents or pass it on to your kids. And Jeremy, let me, uh, let me bring you into the conversation here and. and Talk a little bit about your story and, and how, this, how this has affected you and how you're dealing with it. So when I was 20, about four years ago, I was diagnosed with stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma. They gave me about a 50% chance of survival. And actually at that time, I was also, um, there was a tumor compressing my spine, which I lost the ability to walk. So I had to relearn how to walk again. Wow. Uh, it's, it's something a lot of people can't even imagine. Um, what, what type of treatment did you, did you use? So we did, uh, they did et cetera, um, and it's just um, with, with, along with chemo. Along with chemo. And Doc, and doc let, me, let me ask you, what are the, the treatments that are available uh, right now? And what are, the, the, are there any new ones coming out? Yeah, so traditionally, Hashi lymphoma is treated with uh, multi-agent chemotherapy. Now, the problem with that is even though it can be effective, has a lot of toxicity associated with it since the chemotherapy goes everywhere. One of the new treatment is called Acetris, which is unique in a way that it delivers treatment specifically to the cancer cells and sparing the healthy cells. So you can maximize the efficacy while minimize the toxicity. So Jeremy actually was on a clinical trial involving Acetris plus chemotherapy and he's doing very well, as you can see. What, uh, what are some of the side effects uh, that people should expect? And, and Jeremy, what side effects did you feel? Well, in general, side effects involving with traditional chemotherapy are nausea, vomiting, fever, infections. Now, with Acetris, because it's targeting against cancer cells, the, those side effects are much, much, much more less. One of the unique side effects of Cetris is peripheral sensory neuropathy. So patients can experience some tingling, sensations in their fingers and toes. And now, Jeremy, I, you know, can you speak to what kind of side effect you had? So my, I just, the main ones for me were just nausea and fatigue. And, and, but the, 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 new, the new drug uh, seemed to work, work well for you compared, did you try both treatments or was you just on the new, the new uh, treatment? So I was able, luckily enough, to get into the trial. So that was four years ago, and I am in full remission. I've been in remission for four years now. That's awesome, man. That is so, yeah, so, so good Jeremy to hear. Yeah, so Jeremy was treated on the, ex yeah. He was on the, he was getting a Cetris. Yeah. Very cool. This is, uh, very happy to hear that there's this treatment available. Um, where can our viewers and anybody out there possibly dealing with this cancer get more information? So they can visit acetris.com for more information on Hodgkin lymphoma and the new treatment itself. And a special thanks to Seattle Genetics for sharing that information.